From the late 1800s until fairly recently, most people living in Montgomery County worked the land. Usually it was a family affair, with everyone working hard day and night to cultivate their product. There was little free time or opportunities for vacations, and when they did get a break, farmers and their families usually had to make their own fun. In the summertime, one popular pastime was listening to or playing in the community band. In the 1900s, communities from Potomac to Clarksburg had their own band. Each was a little different, but the aim was the same, to provide entertainment at church picnics, volunteer firemen's parades, and carnivals. Today, only one local band has played together continuously since its founding. In 1884, William A. Walker started the Browningsville Cornet Band when he was only 17. Back then, the town of Browningsville consisted of a few stores, a grocery, as well as a mill. Now more than 125 years later, that same band still plays together, although the rehearsals now take place in Frederick County. A descendant of William Walker, Merlin Barnes, plays the glockenspiel. She joined the band when she was 12 years old. The son of the founder of the band, Dwight Walker, came to my home and they had a glockenspiel that no one was playing and he knew I played piano. So he suggested that or asked if I would be interested in playing it. I um, was very interested because my parents followed, my dad started playing in the band when he was like 12 or 13 years old. So we all, I've always gone to band engagements and um, would sit in front of the band and just, you know, enjoy it so much, so I was excited. I was very timid at first, because you, you hit the bells, you know, you hear that all over, so you want the note to be right. <laughs> Made up entirely of volunteers, the Browningsville Cornet Band is a nonprofit organization. The modest fees collected for performances go towards uniforms and instrument maintenance. Today, the musicians wear matching shirts. But in years past, they sported full uniforms. The styles changed over the years. The 1920s, 40s, 50s, 80s. David Bowman joined the band in 1959. I can remember when I first joined, there's a couple weeks where you might have three or four band engagement in one week, and that was due to uh, the fire companies, the volunteer fire department, and every fire department in the area would have a parade and a carnival. So sometimes we would have a parade at one maybe in one county, and then there's also a carnival going on in another county, and we'd be invited to all of them, and we would try to go to all of them. While there are fewer opportunities to perform nowadays, the band stays busy. Amanda McCurry is the current director. We rehearse um, once a week from January through May. We'll take, we'll take a week off for Easter, um, and then we play all summer usually anywhere from two to six shows a month during the summer. Things like this, church picnics. Um, we have some church picnics we've been playing for over 100 years at the same church. Um, family reunions, there's families that are related to the original members. Uh, community parades, we were just at New Windsor Parade last week. But they're a good group. It's a, it's a mix of all sorts of different skill levels, uh, which is a challenge to work with, but they're, they're fun. They're a fun group. The band's bylaws called for the cultivation of musical talent in the community. It's a way for parents to pass on the love of music to their children. John Campbell has been playing the saxophone with the band since the early 60s. I had three kids played in the in the band with us. It was sort of our family activity. Two daughters and a son that played uh, flute and clarinet. And at this particular performance, John's daughter returned to play along. We 
we get members in of all calipers. It's no auditions, anything like that. That's Bob Vernier. He plays the trumpet and is the current band president. My kids were in it for a while, carried the banner when we marched in parades. That was another big thing. They had uh, an actual honor guard and the banner carriers. And at one time, I understand even like uh, majorettes or something with the band, <laughs> yeah, baton twirlers. It, it was much larger in the past uh, when it was like the only thing going within the community. From the beginning, Merlin's great-great-grandfather had one goal for the band. His goal, I know, was for the band to last, to play 100 years, which we did reach that goal. And we're well into our, going into our second 100 years. I certainly hope that it continues. We have so many talented members now and uh, who enjoy music and playing together that um, I, I really see a good future there. Walt Frazier, former director and president, as well as trombone player, explains what keeps the musicians coming back. Oh, I love to play music. I play in other bands. Uh, you work all week and then this band rehearses on Friday night and it's a great release to uh, come out to rehearsal on Friday night. You're not gonna find a better group of, find a group of people and um, and they are from all walks of life, you know. There's a lot of people do all kinds of different things, but we all uh, gather in the same interests to, to play and to have a good time. And I think that's what probably continues me to, you know, come back. <laughs>